So if you ever wanted to know what Mario looked like in real life, apparently he's on the box cover. That's Mario. Yep. Sleep well. Hi, welcome back to Spanless Gamer. We're playing four NES games today. We're playing Barker Bill's Trick Shooting. Uh, we are also playing Dick Tracy, Narc, and Punch Out. And our first game today is Trick Shooting, which came out in 1990. And the box art looks like this. Step right up. It's sideshow action with carnival atmosphere. Yay, light gun game. Is that Mario? It kind of looks like Mario as a magician. I don't know. Barker Bill is your host. Join him and his assistant Trixie for arcade-style trick shooting. Get out your zapper video gun. Blast floating balloons before they drift away, but don't hit the friendly dog. He'll get mad. Um, Cooper Cam is down, so I'd show you my friendly dog. Back up points by shooting spinning plates tossed by Barker Bill and Trixie. They are happy when you make a shot, but scold you when you miss. Shoot around window panes to not falling targets out of the pitcher. Take aim at tomatoes, eggs, and watermelons before they land on poor Trixie's head. So set your sights for a day at the carnival with Trixie and Barky Barker Bill. Terrific. Uh, balloon Saloon Falling Saloon. All right, we'll do Balloon Saloon. There's that duck hunt dog. Okay, this is pretty difficult with a mouse. Yeah, it's just too fast. I can't move my mouse that fast. Jeez. Oh, you are the duck hunt dog. Oh, you jerk. Thanks for playing Barker Bill's trick shooting. Sorry, your game is over. Challenge trick again. All right, let's try a different one. Flying saucers. Looks just like the last one. Hey, it is the last one. Um, why can't I play anything but this? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the controller. Apparently you need the controller to select the game. You can't just shoot the thing you want to play. That's kind of dumb. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, that's exciting. What else you got? Window panes. Okay. Well, that's... That's thrilling. Alright, you got one more chance to impress me here. I mean, fun is in the name. Fun Follies. Hey, this is just a balloon game again. I did pick the right game, right? Maybe Fun Follies is just like a mix of all of them together. I don't know. That's rated. Graphics. Uh, they're bright and colorful, but whatever. Four, a three. Sound, or graphics of four, sound of three. Music had some. Not too impressed. Four. Not really a story. Controls! It's a light gun game, but you still have to use a controller to select your game, so I'm going to give it a three there. Funness, um, two does all my attention. One, and overall, we're going to give it a three. It's the kind of bog standard light gun game. Not too fun. And let's move on to the next game. Our next game today is Dick Tracy, which came out in 1990. And the box art just features the poster from the Dick Tracy movie. Uh, back when comic book movies were a thing. Remember those? Dick Tracy. Ace Detective Dick Tracy poured over the crime files and mugshots that littered the desk of his dimly lit office down at the police headquarters. The crime wave has been the work of Big Boy Caprice. He thought to himself, I can smell his greasy handiwork behind each of these cases, but I need to get some hard evidence on him. If only I can nab some of his hoods, itchy flat top, and the rest. Uh, arrange their thinking and have... What? Rearrange their thinking, okay, uh, and have them singing like that nightclub temptress, Breathless Mahoney. That was Madonna, I think. Then I could put Caprice behind bars for good. Suddenly, Tracy's two-way wrist radio seized the detective's attention, calling Dick Tracy, calling Dick Tracy. He sprang to his feet and burst to the squad room, shouting, Okay, boys, let's go. This could be our big break. Sure. Walt Disney Company. 
they own everything. All right, Dick. You and your boys are through this in this town, big boy. I'm shutting you down. Oh, I beat the game already. Cool. You got nothing on me, Tracy, and you know it. Okay, I don't care. So, this is basically the Roger Rabbit game again. doing here oh well we can go in here first and see how do we get out of the stupid car there we go oh oh get in there yeah it's just the roger rabbit game all over again not in a good way okay that was an exciting building to go into slowing down. What is going on? Why are there snipers on the roof? Uh, I can't even control the stupid car. Alright. Graphics. Four and a half sound to music. It was okay. Five and a half story. Five controls are not too good. Three funness of two. It doesn't hold my attention at two. And overall, Dick Tracy is going to get a three and a half. And let's see what's next. All right, next game today is called Narc, uh, which was an arcade game. And we can see from the box art here, it was just kind of a. I think it was. It's from Acclaim, but I think it's Bally Midway's first game under the Williams name, I think. Uh, the Arcade Smash Simultaneous 2-Player Action Narc. No one had the guts until now. Sure. Narc is a game that depicts the war on drugs and supports our belief that winners don't do drugs. Well, you're wrong. You are Max Force. Your mission, bust Mr. Big and destroy his dreaded criminal empire, seize all contraband, stolen money, illegal weapons, use rocket bombs, high-powered machine guns, apprehend all suspects, protect the innocent, and punish the guilty. Stop at nothing. Just say no. Thanks, Nancy Reagan. Yeah, that's who it was. Okay, anyway. Let's play Narc. Remember playing this at the arcade game? Look at that. Just say no. They're all about that uh, anti-drug messaging. Really, it's just an excuse for a violent video game. Yeah, the arcade one was pretty violent. And I think it was controversial at the time. I think they kind of stuck the anti-drug messaging in there just to kind of excuse the gameplay. Looks like I'm killing a bunch of monks. A bunch of friars. I don't know. Hunchback drug dealers? More like pervs. I don't know. Yeah, for a Nintendo game that came out in 1990, this is pretty ugly. Am I out of ammo? That's stupid. What am I doing? Are I tickling that guy? Oh, I bust him. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I could just arrest him instead of killing him. Maybe all cops should play this game and learn that lesson. That's right. It. Graphics are ugly. I'll give that a, a three. Sound, not too great. Music, uh, three. Story, oh, two. Controls, they're okay, but nothing too great. Three and a half. Funness, two. Doesn't hold my attention to one. And overall, the NARC port on the NES, I'm going to give a three. And let's see what's next. All right, our final game today is Punch Out from the uh, NES. This is the Punch Out version, not the Mike Tyson version. This one came out in 1990. Um, but for some reason, I never played the Mike Tyson one earlier on the channel. I think it's just because of the way my database work. It just put this version of it. Anyway, this is a Punch Out app with the Mike Tyson stuff removed. It's Boxing's main event. 
Who will be the champ in the World Video Boxing Association? Punch out. It's 13 tough matches in the minor, major, and world circuits that lead to the final challenge, the World Video Boxing Association title fight, the ultimate bout against the newest WVBA champ, Mr. Dream. Practice your hook and take a quick jab. Try to stay light on your feet as you dance left, then right, dodging punches while you throw your own. Boxers from around the world like Piston, Honda, Glass Joe, and Super Macho Man are all trying to knock you out of the ring. You've trained for months for this moment. There's the bell. Shake hands and come out boxing. Cool. All right. Like I said, this is the 1990 version without Mike Tyson. But other than that, other than changing Mike Tyson, it's the same exact game. Got Mario's the ref. Let's not get defeated by Glass Joe. That would be very embarrassing. Years ago, uh, in another life, I worked, I was a manager at a GameStop, and we put this game in, the, in one of the systems, and kids would come in and try to play this game and get their butts kicked by Glass Joe, and it made me laugh every time. Never did get to hear one of the kids say, it's a baby's game. Alright, down he goes. Thanks, Mario. Alright, Little Mac for the win. You ready for the next challenge? Von Kaiser. Yeah, I played this in 87, and there was a code to get to Mike Tyson that I think I had memorized until maybe five years ago. Like, I, I can't remember it now. Okay, on Kaiser. Kaiser. All right, so I can keep playing this for a while, but I'm not gonna. I just realized something. So let's look at the box art here. So we got Mario as the referee in the game. So if you ever wanted to know what Mario looked like in real life, apparently he's on the box cover. That's Mario. Yep. Sleep well. And let's rate the game. Graphics. Okay. Graphics are really good. We'll give that an 8. Big character sprites, um, good animations, give it an 8.5. Sound, it's all iconic sounds. 9. Music is good, um, 9.5 there. Story, uh, really isn't any, I mean, there's a Tempta 1, your little Mac, you're trying to fight your way up through the ranks, but, you know, it's just a boxing game. Controls are excellent, uh, probably one of the most fun boxing games you can play. Funness, 10, doesn't hold my attention. Uh, a 10, I could play that for a while. And overall, we're going to give Mike Tyson, or Punch-Out, a 9 and a half. And that was Punch-Out on the NES. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, and we'll see you next game.